Check out my book in the description down below. What's up, Stoat Knights? Coming to you from my apocalyptic backyard of weirdness. For those of you, maybe in the Cub Scout years, who have been back here, uh, it's a different kind of place. So here's the story. Uh, Plain Street Trails, I call them. They really don't have an official name. They're the trails that radiate from the Gibbon School behind the playground. If you take the main trail, as many of you know, uh, actually, it's kind of a secret to some, too. There's a main trail that goes down to a peninsula by the pond, but if you veer to the left, there's kind of a more hidden trail that hasn't been used in many years. Last year during COVID, me and my kids clipped it out, re-cleared it, because it's really beautiful. It's about a half mile jaunt that comes out in Plain Street. And there was a bridge there that I built about 15 years ago. It was supposed to be temporary. It's made out of junk, scraps, just things I had kicking around. And that bridge just has not lasted. It never really had the intention of lasting or the promise of lasting. So we're building a brand new one. Shout to John Stagnoni, uh, who gave me a bunch of leftover boards from a deck he had built recently. I got some more wood I bought myself, then also some from a salvage job, a fort I took down for a client when I was building a tree house. We're gonna make a brand new bridge there. It's gonna be fantastic. I don't wanna oversell it. It's gonna be simple, it's gonna work, and hopefully it will last a long time. So here goes. You know how expensive this stupid crap is? <laughs> Pardon my choice of words. This synthetic Trex decking usually gets chucked by crews. Thank you, John, for saving it. This means we don't have to buy stuff. It lasts a long time. It will be put to good use. And there are 20 something boards here, which I think is enough. We're not even done and we have our first customers. That's awesome. I didn't know many people use these trails anymore, to be honest. Like, yeah. But since they've been cleared a little more, more and more people are coming back here, it seems. I see evidence of it, at least. Yeah, my, my daughter walks her dogs here a lot, too. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for fixing it. Yeah, no problem. All right, here's a finished project. Let me flip the camera to show you, although you can kind of see it back here. Uh, the bridge was a little bit short, so we went out last minute and bought a bunch of bags of mulch at Home Depot to kind of fill in the real swampy area of the trail where all the you know boots had stomped the heck out of the soil. And it works. And that's all she wrote. On to the next project, whatever that may be.